Get off my lawn! What in the wide world of sports is going on here tonight? Grumps turned 45! 45! Woo-hoo! Power the buckle, everybody. We've got a show for you tonight. We don't even believe it. What a night. But first, let's get into our theme song, because it's going to... It's going to fly by like, well, like it already did. All right, here we go. You ready? Don't try to cross him. He'll leave you in dismay. And don't try to boss him. He'll ruin your whole day. He's got more mental problems than a shrink would ever say. And I should know. Really? He's obfuscating, prevaricating, and constantly pontificating, exasperating, cream cheese grating, and forever belly kicking, exasperating, aggravating, irritating. <coughs> He's an asshole. <laughs> well, I'm not the only one. God, that's for Get sure. off my lawn! That's Grumps. <laughs> okay, well, we, it's very serious. We got business kids today. We got business. We have a business proposition business and proposal kitchen. for you. So and, and I know, but I'm there's, taking there's, notes and there's so many things to quickly unpack right, here though. I've had to dress for my business meeting. Right. And this is very important. We've got a got very big business and, thing happening. You know, but we also have some other stuff. Got the stuff. business bun, see? Yeah. Hairs in a, a business, business bun. But you you're unaware that I made a tease uh, about this show uh, for today on Facebook. It's why we have five thousand listeners right I now. I don't I don't know. Which is uh, I asked a, a riddle. What do Charlie Parker and Louis Prima have in common? Ooh. And actually, it's Charlie Parker's one hundredth birthday today. So. Oh, Every wow. Char Charlie Parker has everything in common with everybody. Of course, every note I play is inspired by. Charlie Parker, and of course, um, all the music I found in my life to play and to love came through his portal. So uh, he was my gateway drug into music, and I can't thank him enough for all of this. That's very interesting. Yes, please write that down. Keep all this for track. Uh, however, it's been a strange week. As you know, I was really worried about the ratings for our last show because... Uh, we were up against the Republican National Convention. Uh, and it's been tough because every Wednesday we've been against the convention. And I really didn't think it would matter. I mean, we did get fairly better ratings than I thought we would. But I got a letter from the RNC. Whoa. And this, you can see, uh, I have it filed here. And um, which, me, which file it. did you file it in? I have to read it. Whoop. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Let that be a lesson to you. All right. This is from the RNC, and it starts off with, to whom it may concern. Now, any letter that starts up that is really something you, I pretty much threw it away, but, but then I decided what the hell I'd read it. And what it said was, to whom it may concern, of course, it's to Grumps TV, and it says, uh, we are highly aware of your show and your ratings, and we want you to know that you are encroaching on our brand. And, <laughs> and, and, and really, really. <laughs> No, really. <laughs> I've heard it all now. And, and, and that we will robustly defend that. Big, it's a big word. Um, and, and then it goes, on to say, it goes on to say, surely you know that grumpiness and being pissed off is our brand, and you must find another one or we will see you in court. <laughs> so, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, so... Um, there you have it. That's funny. It's and, funny. I thought, and I thought you were an asshole. You know, well, there you go. But I mean, I, I didn't realize. get worse. I didn't realize it was somebody else's brand too. Um, well, now we know. Now, what really got me about this is it got me thinking was um, I did happen to watch their show at the end and I saw it. And, and I've come to realize that Donald Trump is not really, well, of course he's our president, but... Well, he's well, he is, but mm. he's not really a president. He's a superhero. Really? Because his speech, let me know. How do you figure well, that? Well, dig, dig. He was the one. He blamed Joe Biden for the Corona pandemic. He blamed oh. Joe Biden for the protests in the streets and the few rioters that there were, or, the, or looters, of which there was a smaller percentage than, of course, criminals in his 
cabinet. in his, in yeah. his cabinet. So, I mean, he like he had this weird way of seeing into the future and blaming the past on it. I thought it was. I that's, thought it was really. I mean, it, that's superhero that's hard to shit. To do, I, I, I don't. That's superhero I, shit. Nobody, any, you know, nobody can do that. I'm and, impressed and in people, a weird kind of people way. People bought it. You know, that's superhero. People and, bought and the, it. And the, and the yeah. other thing, well, some people. People did. will buy a lot of garbage. And then, anyways, <laughs> no. And I'm just saying, and, and this is not politics. This is personal. Oh. They started it. They sent me the letter. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, so um, they get whatever's coming to them. Dang it. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm just. This is not politics. It's just what's happening. Just what's okay. So, but what, another thing that I realized the superhuman side is like, dang, this guy broke the law and his lawyer went to jail for him. Oh. I mean, how, imagine, how imagine that doing that. That's, That's a superhero. Well, you gotta have one. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is and this is what's happening. I don't think even Batman. We have now evolved that. to a country that has a superhero as a president. That's kind oh. of it's kind of interesting. Well, and it's it's know, something both scary and worth thinking like about. That when we were young. Anyway, seeing into the future and seeing into the past that's that's some stuff and blaming the past on the future. I mean, that's like saying insanity is hereditary. You get it from your kids. Glad we don't have any. You know, but I mean that's that's that kind of. Thing. Yeah. Anyways, can we get the um, Santini going? Cause, cause, oh, cause, the Santini. And I know you're a businesswoman. I'm a but... bit, you know what? Is it, is it, you want coffee next? I mean, you know, what do you think I am? The, the secretary? You're, you're looking pretty good. The yeah. sexy Terry? Yeah. Are you any day? Uh -huh. I doubt that. Oh, what did you do? I didn't do anything. You, you, you did. You did. Oh, I did. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. Uh, we're, we're still okay here, I think, folks. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're still online. Oh, okay. All right. You know, these secretaries these days, you hey, know. Hey, hey. Okay. Uh, anyways, it's Charlie Parker's you're birthday. You're lucky for so the gonna pay play, I'm getting. You're damn I'm lucky. I'm going to play a little bit. Ah, I'm going to play a bird, something, a reminiscent of bird. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, bird. to make something Gidge and I have come up with in G&G &G Industries. Of course, you know the big hit from the toilet paper earrings that happened at the beginning of the pandemic and the toilet paper charms. And then, of course, we followed up with the Grumps belt buckles. Anyways, those are selling off the shelves. Off the shelves. And now we have our own domain, which of course points to bruceforman.com but if you go to grumpstv.com it exists and who knows what evil lurks there unless the rnc shuts us down and then gidge and i have come up with what i believe to be perhaps the most amazing business innovation entrepreneurial innovation of the entire plague the pandemic Play. Okay, so I think you should be part of this, Gidge. I mean, don't let me be the only man in the infomercial here. No. I am the only man, but the only person. Um, you may want your pad. Where's my pad? Your business pad. Um, oh, oh, man, I got to put my... Okay, so here's what it is. Glasses. I always felt that when you find a need and you find a, a, a group that's underserved and then you have a particular pool of resources that is really ready to take over and help that ready you, to take and over. you and you put them together put them together you create not only a good business but you create goodness for the world progress for the world huh. okay this yeah. is this oh, is yeah. this is not just business of course it's business and money is made and money changes hands but what happens is the world gets better oh. because of this business being yes. there and that's its actual business model is to make things better for people now, I have done this and had success. It was a nonprofit, but it was called Jazz Masters Workshop. It ran for 14 years. I started it back in 99, 1999. And it was just basically, my feeling was, was there was a preponderance of children, young players that needed to play because gigs were slowing down and there wasn't, and it wasn't as easy for them to get into them. 
that, that the jam session scene, the place that where everybody learned by playing together had gotten really small and, and actually non-existent in a lot of places. And what I did know that there were a lot of musicians who were hanging out with a lot to offer a lot of people. Some incredible resources this country had that was just sitting there going to waste. And everybody basically in education at this time had found ways to market books and videos and DVDs and things. And that was basically the way that, that our lineage was being handed down. And it really frustrated me because I felt that the way I learned was by playing with people. And thank you. That was good. And by, by playing with people and, and ma having them mentor me and, and feel what it's like and make my mistakes and get better through that. And so I start, I parked myself in a community center and started raising money. And next thing I know, I have a nonprofit. <coughs> we had workshops in New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco Bay Area, and, and here in Monterey, in Santa Cruz. And we, Thanks, we gave, and we, and we gave 35, over 3,500 workshops free of charge to students That's in 14 amazing. years of all ages and abilities. There are lots of students who, uh, who have even been on this show as guests, who, who are out making records, who are doing amazing things. And, and what it was, was what made it work was it was such a good idea. There were musicians that were a great resource in every community and they had so much to give and all we had to do was get them together with kids. Well, Grumps has come up with a new one. And that's a long way around, I'm sorry, but I think it's no, good to, set, it's, it's a good to it, set the table. And it's a, it's a fabulous thing to do. You should be very proud of it. And, and I am proud of it. I wish it were still going. If I, I had somebody who was willing to take over the day-to-day -day operations and let me be a musician still, I would have gladly kept it going. But I didn't find the right person. Nonetheless, here we are, <clears throat> 2020, in the middle of a pandemic, the plague. And basically, this is what we have. We have the mandemic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and... We have women who are just locked in their homes with their husbands 24-7, oh, yeah. particularly musicians. And I'm talking about my musicians, friends, cause, and we happen to be here because we don't have jobs to go to now. But they used to be gone a lot, you see, and now... On tour, whatever, and working now gigs. they're never and, gone. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a situation. It's a situation, but there's also lots of incredible people out there. Particularly women. Women. Particularly women, women. But that's just the way I, you know, I work. But that doesn't matter. There are people out there who are lonely and who need somebody. Now, here's what I think. Is we will start a service where you talk to my wife. This is all of the business kitchen. I'm the, I'm the business side. And you okay. basically rent me for the evening. I come. We have dinner. We talk. We chat. I play. Whatever. And it's kind of like... It's for, for the musician. It's a gig for me. It gets me out of her hair. Everybody's for you, you happy. win. We can keep it all however socially distanced it needs to be. These are all very easy Please things. And I know lots of me. musicians who are willing to do it. And it's all up yeah. and up. Yeah. Because, why? Because you're dealing with her. I'm not sneaking around no, doing no, nothing I'm, here. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, okay. I'm now, looking I, them we're, out. We're not, I'm, I'm, I'm considered a... Um, no, no, don't, don't use that word. Uh, but, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a business. Yeah, you're, you're a business agent. Agent. Yes. I'm an agent. Right. Um, here's the name of this new amazing idea and company. It's called Amigolo. Get it? Amigo and Gigolo put together is Amigolo. Amigolo. I'm telling you that the sun came out the day you came up with this name. And, ladies and gentlemen, Amigolo dot com also goes to yeah. bruceforman.com right now but yeah. soon we'll have a yelp page we got it we and, got it going and we on. will work it out for and i just want to put a word out all you women and or even guys who want to rent me out for the evening we're, you contact gidget we, we are cool and with all that. of you my friend we're, we're good with all of the above you trans and bed yeah, yeah, yeah. And everything's whatever cool whatever you are everything's cool. we love you this is really going to piss off if they, never mind. Hmm? Where was that letter I filed? This is really going to piss them off. Oh, well. Anyways. Um, I'm worried about that. Okay. But um, ah. there's another thing is that for, I want the musicians who are, who are in a similar situation where they're driving their wives crazy and they want to get out and they want a gig to contact me because you need to be, need to be in the Amigolo database. But they have to contact me. 
Well, they, to be in the database. I'm doing all the booking. I'm, oh, you're I'm, okay. I'm you're the saying, agent. I'm, I, this is the well, thing. I was talking about just to get them in the database. All right. Because they're going to have to contact their wives when they're booking them. Yeah, and you, you, you kind and of. And you want to do all that work? You need to suss that out because I don't know these people okay. on you. Okay. So okay. I, I, I know talk, how to, I know how to, to run that part I'll of the I'll talk business. to the gals. Okay. But cool. yeah, you talk to the, the guys. They will be vetted. Or, I mean, or, vent, or actually, it's, it's all safe. And I'll be vented as well as vetted, I promise. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so um, we put a little <laughs> song together, just kind of in the spirit of that. Do. And you <laughs> asked why or what Louis Prima and Charlie, I asked why, what Louis Prima and Charlie. <laughs> no one asked. else would ask that. But this is, <laughs> here you have it. Aren't you happy? Oh, I'm so happy. I couldn't be happier right now. <laughs> yes, I could. I'm just an amigo. Everywhere I go, Migalo. people know the part I'm playing. Migalo, Migalo, Migalo. Paid for every dance. Migalo. Selling each romance. Migalo. Ooh, what they're saying. Migalo, Migalo, Migalo. There will come a day that my youth has passed away, like yesterday. What will they say about me? When the end comes, I know they'll say just an amigo. Life goes on without me. He's just an amigo, and everywhere he goes, ladies know for what they're paying. Friendship and a meal, it's really no big deal. And of course, some music playing. Why sit home alone, talking on the phone, when you can be entertained socially? Distance, of course. Of course, of course, of course. When you think about it, I know you'll prefer an amigo. Because life goes on. Be happy. Because you ain't got nobody. I've someone here on the couch. He's making me an awful grouch. Don't be sad and lonely. Won't some sweet mama take a chance on me? Cause I ain't so bad. Run! I'm just an amigo, amigo. and everywhere I go. Amigo. People know the part I'm playing. Amigo, amigo, amigo. Paid for every dance. Amigo. Selling each romance. Amigo. Ooh, what they're saying. Amigo. 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 I'll admit there has come a day oh. when they'll all say my youth is pace away. What will I do without me? When the <laughs> end comes, I know I was just a big Life goes on without me. <laughs> epic. It kind of was. <laughs> oh my god. We should do it again. It was so epic. Well, maybe we'll do I it again. I have to take notes. <laughs> it was so good for the for the board meeting. You know, we we got an IPO coming up. Yeah, so life. like imagine you say like God, you know, I want to do something good for musicians. I've got a nice dinner here. I want to hang out with somebody who's kind of been in a bubble too. We'll, we'll sit socially distanced. We'll sit. We'll have a nice conversation. We'll get some music played. You think we're kidding? And, and it's and it's okay. We are you know, kidding. here's the deal. I'm you could serious. even have. I'm, I'm okay I'm with. I'm ratting him out. I'm okay with like a threesome or a foursome. Too. He's really fun. He's funny. I'm He's really smart. open minded. He's easy going. I'm just, you know, it's just like the 24 seven thing. It's like, you know, it's time to. So you got to talk to Gidge because she's Give booking. Give me a call. Me. Okay. Give me and a call. And for you musicians who want to be part of this, we'll get you in the fold and we'll work it out. We can go global with this. Amigolo. Amigolo. Amigolo.com. Can you just spell it for people that are kind of. A M I G O L O.com. A M I G O L O dot com. A M I G O L O dot com. Got it. Okay. Okay. Mm. Wow, you got to admit. That was amazing. You didn't pay anything for that. I can't believe we're giving all this away. I well, mean, we're not giving I, the amigo away. I think, I think we're we... giving this entertainment away. I'm telling you, people. Oh, we're, oh, we're going. We're going to kind of keep the amigo oh. thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
your home alone and tired of the phone and the thought of a scream makes you crazy and mean then go this way it's not much to pay you'll get some extra sounds and someone nice around call on amigo amigolo.com it's the way to go it's just plain to see you'll get company so call or text and enjoy what's next you just need to know Woo! it's an amigo law Play some drums. Play some drums. Oh, golly. You're not too big. Can I play drums in a suit? I don't know. Gary Hobbs does sometimes. Well, that, you know, I'm not Gary Hobbs. <laughs> See, got my business bun. <laughs> I gotta remember how to do this. <laughs>
love the shoulders. In <laughs> Especially <laughs> with these patties. <laughs> Okay, so folks, you got to admit, no, Amigalo is the king of the century. And I we're also... Get, I want some calls from you people. Okay, no, dig. I, I have two meetings. Pass me my drink. Of course, there's Zoom meetings with uh, some arbitragers, which I think are people who want to invest, and also some venture... or I think they're vulture capitalists. But we've got some of them, too. So if any of you want to get involved in this before that happens... Yeah. That's the time to go because when that happens, it happens. When we go public, it's just going to be. A, oh yeah. It's going to be yeah. a major. Uh, if it goes, it's going to be. Not bad. if it's when. It's it's. We, the, we've already been contacted. I, I I really yeah. I just can't believe that this isn't. No. The wave of the future. It is the wave of the because, future. We were uh, just ahead of the game. Because because it's the way of the pasture too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the future and the past. I get it. Okay. Past, I Anyways, get it. that was really right. good. I mean, I, I would say more, but I think it would what be over. What we do for you people. I, I think it would be overselling at this point. I mean, I think we made a I point. I think we made a point. Maybe we'll do a, a Justin Amigo low at the end because that's worth okay. doing again. Just, I think you need to Because your Samantha Butera was amazing. Samantha. You know. Well, it was, I don't know how. You want to do that part. Why don't I play the ukulele and you play the uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Woo, that was good. Samantha Butera and the Witnesses. And the Witness Protection Program. That's it. <laughs> right? That's right. And, uh, Gage, while you're doing now? the business, may I suggest you keep your eye on the Facebook feed because if it drops out, uh, I want to know if I'm still on before I have to reboot. Yep. And, uh, you know, actually there's a shitload of comments and I don't know why anybody's watching. Don't they have better things to do? Oh. Oh, God. You know, man, this is... <laughs> Okay, Charlie Parker's birthday. Now, I know I brought out some of these things before, and they're actually out right now because, as, as those of you who know, who have been paying attention to this aggravation, know that we were evacuated. A fire was not much more than a mile away from our house. It was the next ridge over. Our entire area was evacuated. We live in a highly wooded canyon, a very beautiful, perfect place to live, except for when fires are around. And... I had to pack up all the valuables. Luckily, it wasn't one of those things where, like, grab one thing and go uh, and save your ass. It was, a, a, they, they gave us warning. And so I packed up a lot of valuable things. Of course, some guitars went and important papers, Pammy's uh, art work and things like that. Um, but there's another thing that I did take, and, and it was very important to me, and that is <laughs> this. Now, this is a book... I don't know, you can see it, it's kind of got some glare, but this is a book called To Bird With Love. And this is, um, when I when I was like 22, I guess it was 1978, um, I was in Paris, France with Richie Cole, and we played for a week at a club called the Dreyer, and it was, um, and we stayed on a houseboat right on the Seine. It was like idyllic. It was an old uh, girlfriend, I believe, of Richie's who had the boat. And that week, Chan Parker stayed with us, Bird's widow, who um, they she knew Bird because she had been married to Phil Woods and and Richie Cole was, I mean, she knew Richie because Richie was, a men, was mentored by Phil Woods. And of course, she had married Phil Woods and uh, Phil Woods is one of the greatest Alpine saxophone players alive. So um, they were like all family, and so I got to live basically with Chan for a week <clears throat> and play for her. And right at this time, besides getting to every night after the gig to hear stories about Bird and ask every question you want to ask, what do you like to eat, what do you like to drink, what do you like, what do you, how much you practiced, I mean, all this stuff I got to ask as a 22-year-old person. And... Um, it was, and, and at that time, they were just finishing up the publishing of this book, which is just an amazing love letter to Bird. It's a coffee table book. You can find it on Amazon if you look, or, you know, one of those uh, book selling sites. It's a big coffee table book. Um, it's got stuff like this. Here, I'll just, I just opened any page. I, this was not planned. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to just open any page. 
Look at this. Friends of Bird, letters to Bird, uh, even old contracts, gigs he was on. Wow. Just some amazing stuff. Amazing friends of Bird. It's just his kids. This is just, uh, this book is, every, every page sort of gives you the chills. Now, while I was there, oh, here's a picture of me and Chan. God, there's some glare there. At, um, in her house in a place called Chamateau. That was her house. Here's a picture of the two saxophones. Uh, the plastic one and his king and um and and actually i got when i was there this is actually a piece of paper that when they're when they're checking to make sure that the prints are good that they're all lined up straight they kind of to save paper they run numerous pages on the same page just to see if it's lining up and they gave me this and they both signed it and I took it home, and then, of course, I got a, I got the book sent to me when it came out months later uh, with some incredible dedications, one from Chan at the top here. I don't expect that you'll be able to read it, but, and this is from Francis Podra, who actually helped her publish this, and Francis is very famous because, um, Francis helped Bud Powell in, in Paris, and Francis, uh, Bill, Bill Evans, he, he, helped, he took care of Bill Evans some, for some time in Paris, and he has some amazing tapes of Bill playing. I remember sitting at Francis's house, he had like a little movie theater in one of his rooms, and we watched film of both Bud Powell and uh, Bill Evans. So you, at 22 years old, you can kind of see how, why I'm who I am, and, and how much this stuff means to me um somebody just wrote it's on amazon for 725 bucks yes but you know that's this you can imagine how invaluable this is besides to me which is never for sale but when gidget gets to sell it when i'm gone or or if amigalo goes bankrupt uh with the dedications and the extra artifacts uh, it's, it's be valued to me as beyond money. And now it's the hundredth birthday of bird. Happy birthday, bird. Thank you for, wow. I mean, when you think about it, that man has changed the world probably more than most any person we can think of. I mean, I'm just trying to think of a person who's changed the world more. And of course I admit that I'm, I admit that I'm prejudiced. <laughs> And I'm looking for that picture of me with bird's horn, which of course is all over the internet. And they offered me the opportunity to make it my Facebook thing today. And I didn't take it because, I don't know, there's a thing about me and birthdays and deaths that I just don't like to put pictures of me with that person. It's like, it's their birthday. It's not my birthday. And I don't want to, uh, I want to love them. I don't want to be loving on me or be making it some sort of promotion for myself because I... I I mean, it's a picture of me at 22 holding bird's horn. I'll put it up on Facebook in a few days, or anybody who wants to can email me, and I'll send them a copy of it. They're that lonely and bored. Um, but it is another prized possession, and it just doesn't happen to be on that iPad. Bird, you know... <clears throat> What can you say? A person who like opens the world of music up to you and not only shows you a way of playing, but a way of being, but a way of hearing, a way of thinking, uh, shows you that with dedication and love and commitment that you can actually achieve something so powerful and, and also find so much freedom. And I know in this time that we're talking about strife, where people are having a hard time, don't tell me that birds playing wasn't an escape from a lot of bullshit. Those moments, I mean, all of us who play know that when we're really in that zone or finding that zone, that is where we're going. It's release. It's beauty. We're free. And 
bird more than any of us, I think, any musician, in my estimation, epitomizes what that is. If you put, you put 20 seconds of that in a time capsule a thousand years away, a thousand years from now, they'll know what I'm talking about. Just like if you want to know what jazz is, you put 20 seconds of Louis Armstrong's life on there, and they'll know what jazz is. You could have him taking a pee, and that's more about what jazz is, you know, than any course I could give. So thank you, Charlie Parker, for lighting a spark that created a fire. Unfortunately, it didn't burn down houses, but actually created them. And um, it's funny because one of the first songs I ever heard him play was Lover Man. Wow. And it's a great song, of course. And on my first record... The first song, uh, I did Lover Man, but I, of course, because I had such great mentors, and I think they were in the spirit of Bird, it was like, don't do it like me, do it like you. What's happened? Where's it going? So I kind of decided I didn't want to make it into a, um, into a ballad. I wanted to kind of have it hard driving and kind of more impactful, even though the words, it was, it was cross-purpose to the way the actually lyric, the feeling of the lyric. But then again, you know, I've been through where uh, one of the greatest tunes I ever heard was Miles Davis' version of All of You, which of course was 180 degrees from the intention of the, of the original song and what it meant. Nonetheless, it's one of the most incredible musical experiences of my life just to listen to it. So... I took the song, and I am going to try and recreate a band arrangement on the fly. I just kind of just came up with this idea now. So it's going to be reconstructing something that I did more than more than 40 years ago. It's on my first record. The record was called Coast to Coast. So if those of you want to check out what I'm doing now versus what I was doing then and see how much worse I've gotten, I think I'm going to have to do the same.
thank you. That was uh, a, um, what I remember of my lover man on my first record. Of course, you notice all them chromatic two, five, ones, you know, when it went. Uh, that started a whole sequence. Da -ba -da 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 -da. And of course, the Coltane Bridge. Anyways, a lot of cool ideas. And then I even stole from Count Al Count Alma at the end, right? Yeah. A little Central Park West there. For those of you who want it, I mean, it saved you the trouble of transcribing it. I just kind of explained it to you. Not that anybody wants to do it. Yeah. Man, what can I say? I'm just jazzed about Amigalo. And I think if Bird were here, he would go, man, I wish we had Amigalo in the 40s. We'll make 52nd Street more like 57th Street, you dig? Well, I think we should do Justin Amigo Lowe and end this little puppy because we have just burned an hour and it has been one of the more fun hours and I was at trepidation here because I'm just a little worried about that threatened lawsuit at the beginning. That just... That's you know, bullshit, huh? I mean, yeah. What the hell? You know, I mean, Grumps TV has been here and it's yeah. going to stay and I've been doing this for a long time. It seems like forever. And... And your support means the world to us. So keep those orders for toilet paper earrings, buckles, and bangles and bulges. Let's keep that going. And remember, you can go to amigalo.com, get on my contact page. You contact me, I'll put you in touch with my business agent. That would be Gidget. And we'll work out a deal where we can hang a little bit. What do you say? Get me out of her hair, get me into yours. All right, uh, good. Let's let's do uh, our little bit of our thing here. You need to take a pad here and and count the Yelp earnings or whatever they're the Yelpers. Oh, okay. And I definitely want that uh, some more Samantha Butera. Oh my gosh. Okay. I should have practiced a yeah. little more. Okay, come on. <laughs> Samantha. Butera. Remember, it's it's not the it's not the altitude; it's the attitude. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where's my glasses? Oh, my glasses. Can't oh, you want mine? You want oh, my glass? That doesn't help. <laughs> no, I got good. my glass. Yeah, I know. You're good with, I know. Yeah, yours are really cute. <laughs> okay. Please don't talk about me when I was gone. <laughs> I'm just a gigolo, everywhere I go, Amigolo. people know the part I'm playing, Amigolo, Amigolo, Amigolo. paid for every dance, Amigolo. selling each romance, <laughs> what they're saying, Amigolo, Amigolo. there has come a day, when my youth passed away, what will they say about me, when the end comes I know there's just an Amigolo, Life goes on without me. Just in a big low, and everywhere he goes, ladies know for what they're paid. A big low, a big low, a big low. Friendship and a meal, it's really no big deal. And of course, some music plays. So, 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 so why sit at home, talking on the phone, when you could be entertained socially, distanced, of course. I'll wear a mask. Yeah, he will. Might be. When you think about it, I know you'll prefer an amigo low. Life goes on. Be happy. Cause, Cause I, I ain't got, got you ain't got nobody. nobody. Neither can I at this point. Hey, 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 hey. I've got someone here on the couch. He's making me into a big fat crowd. Don't, Don't be sad and long. 
Lonesome mama, take a chance on me. Hey, because I'm not so bad. Go on, Sammy. Migalo, migalo, migalo. Friendship and a meal is really no big deal. And of course, some music playing. <laughs> Why sit home alone, just talking on the phone, when you can be entertained socially, so, distanced apart? Masks, everything, whatever you want. Gloves, condoms, I don't when, care. When you think about it, I know you'll prefer a migalo. Because life goes on, so just be happy. You ain't got nobody. Hey. hey! He's here. Oh, he's on the couch. Always! He's turning me into a... Don't, Don't be, be sad and lonely. Hey, hey! Won't some sweet mama take a chance with me? Please! I ain't so bad. Give me more, Sammy. Go! Woo! Hey, yeah! Hey, 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 hey. Woo! Uh. There's an epic ending. Good night. Good luck. Um, a M I G O L O dot com. Sorry. A M I G O L O dot com. A M I G O L O dot com. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a hour you ain't getting back. Sorry. Yeah, well, we tried. He makes me do it. And then I, uh, and, you know, and without her, what has she got? A better life. <laughs> He'll leave you with dismay And don't try to boss him He'll ruin your whole day He's got more mental problems Than a shrink could ever say He's obviously